Thank you for taking interest in Aztec Technology Limited. Aztec is a professional manufacturer of microcontrolled products. The company started in 1988. We have developed our innovations into a wellness and healthcare series. Our company is approved by GMP, ISO 9001, ISO 13485 with CE Lab. All items are CE and ROSE certified. We are also your best choice as an OEM ODM designer and manufacturer of healthcare and fitness products. We are focused on providing healthcare selection such as the AK360 interferential current pain relief apparatus, the AK500 electrostatic therapy apparatus, the AK362S vacuum therapy apparatus, the AK368 deluxe interferential current 4-in-1 apparatus, the AK350 TENS massager, the AK320 beauty care TENS stimulator, the RH30 pedometer heart rate monitor ring, the AS882 heart rate chest belt. You will see three of the following products demonstrated here. They are the AK360 interferential current pain relief apparatus, the AK500 electrostatic therapy apparatus, the RH30 pedometer heart rate monitor ring. Aztec Technology Limited is approved by GMP ISO 9001, ISO 13485 with CE Lab for the manufacturing factory. And our products are CE, FCC, ROSE and SFDA certified. Aztec has also earned hundreds of patent technologies for microcontrol and medical electronics over the past years. Our strong R&D team is constantly developing a wide range of electrotherapy, iontophoresis therapy, and other rehabilitation methodologies into a compact size, which is designed for people's everyday needs for their healthcare purpose. Here is our first product. The AK500 electrostatic therapy apparatus is to help you regain immunity as well as maintain your daily health. Who is watching the everyday food you eat, the air you breathe and the surroundings you encounter? You need a personal doctor to take care of you and to make sure you are always in the best shape and remain healthy. Onion and electrostatic therapy are a good idea for the daily health care purpose of keeping your body in its best shape as the AK500 electrostatic apparatus does. Why not take a look at how the AK500 electrostatic apparatus functions and benefits your body health? The AK500 electrostatic apparatus mainly increases blood circulation and metabolism. Therefore, to eliminate constipation, slim down the body and beautify the skin. The release of onion from the machine at the same time can balance the body's positive ions to increase immunity and cure chronic problems such as insomnia and headache. Our AK500 electrostatic apparatus is easy to operate. Every adult can use the apparatus easily without any operational problems. Just place the insulated ground mattress on the floor and place a wooden chair on it with the seat mats attached. Then turn on the device with the remote control or manually and choose the mode and level then set the time. You could simply sit with the AK500 in operation watching television for a half an hour or an hour to regain your health. You may take 300 to 500 cc's of water after using the device to help with metabolism. Welcome to lead the new sport trend with the RH Heart Rate Rings. Testimony of local Dr. Liao. Hello, I am Dr. Liao, currently the doctor in charge of the LCL Orthopedics United Clinics in Taiwan. I also have a Chinese medical background. According to my over 10 years experience, many patients excessively neglect their body conditions, do not pay attention,
specially designed for car drivers, Apple CarPlay is an extension of iPhone into the car entertainment system. It is designed and promoted by Apple and can it becomes popular in the last three years. Almost all car factories want to incorporate this feature into their new models. Typically, CarPlay functionality is implemented through the in-vehicle console. So owners of older cars need to spend a lot of money and professional support to install a CarPlay. You can imagine a mechanic needing to disassemble the console and replace it with a new one to add CarPlay functionality. Orient Development Group came up with the idea to make it portable. We are happy that this idea has been patented in Taiwan, China, and Germany. US Patent Pending Coral Vision CarPlay is developed and designed in Taiwan. Now the series become our main product. We made CarPlay portable, easy to install, and no disassembly requirement. In just 5 steps and 3 minutes, any car can have CarPlay, which is almost indistinguishable from a car bundled with CarPlay. From materials to functionality, Coral Vision CarPlay follows vehicle specifications, not 3CS. Therefore, it can be continually used in the car for a long time. This series of products have successively added and modified various functions. The latest version supports wireless connectivity for CarPlay, Android Auto, and the mirroring of iOS and Android. In order to meet the needs of motorcycle owners, a motorcycle version of CarPlay has also been developed, which is expected to be mass-produced in July. We work hard to make portable CarPlay suitable for a variety of customer requirements. For example, different installation methods, adding a driving recorder. Or taxis need to add functions such as taxi meters and printing receipts. We found the solutions for them and are almost done. So please contact us if you have any different ideas for portable car play. Look forward to cooperation with you in the future. Good morning from Hong Kong and welcome to Global Sources Live. My name is Tom and I am delighted to welcome you to a new installment of our supplier stories. Today's topic is must source electronics for the 2022 festive season. Now, of course, that is all to do with uh, planning ahead, basically. The festive season, well, no, December, November through to December shopping peak time is some way away. But if you're in the sourcing business, you need to be making decisions now. If you've, uh, well, anyone familiar with uh, the buying process will know that consumer patterns uh, change, uh, you know, numbers go up and down, but also uh, the kind of pro profile of the products that are in demand changes over the course of the year. Uh, not just uh, products that are primarily seen as gifts and even, indeed even not mostly gift products. Uh, so the question then we are answering today, hopefully, is what products are must-haves this year and which markets are driving demand in particular? So in other words, which promising opportunities can uh, you be taking advantage of later on in Q4 2022? Now, this episode is produced in partnership with the Taiwan Electrical and Electronic Manufacturers Association. There we go, we cut through it, aka TIMA. And so we have three outstanding uh, guests to uh, answer that question for us today. We will be talking to Betty Liu from Aztec Technology, Andy Kung from Goodwill Instrument Company Limited, and Chen Yonsun, aka Yong Chen, uh, from Orient Development. So they'll be sharing their insights on how to stand out from the competition and some pitfalls to watch out for when you are trying to, you know, leap onto a trend before it leaves the station and uh, you know things that might go wrong if you're not careful with uh, latching on 
to those trends. However, of course, you may very well have specific questions or comments of your own. So as we are broadcasting, please do uh, leave your questions in the comment space provided below or next to this video and towards the end of the stream, we'll uh, take a look and see if we can help you out there. And of course, if you just want to say hello or say where you are watching uh, this anywhere in the world, uh, please feel free to do that as well. We always like to get some, uh, I don't know, some kind of interaction with the viewers. So uh, yeah, that's a thing you can also be doing. Let me just uh, check my running order here. And I think our first guest to bring on is um, from Aztec. Now, I will say, by the way, we've had some trouble uh, with the connection on this one. So fingers crossed that we can now join uh, Betty Lou. Let me see. Good morning, Betty. Can you hear me? Good morning. Good morning. And good morning to all the audience today. And hello, Tom. And thank All right, thank you. you. For Tom. Oh. Sorry, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, is my audio sounds good or still? Uh, it's bit? it's still a little crackly. I will admit. Could you could you give us a very brief introduction to Aztec and the kind of products that you that you make? Yes. So we Aztec we are a Taiwan manufacturer, and we have been in. Healthcare, beauty care, sport, fitness, and also the PC board microcontroller manufactured over 30 years. So right now, our main product it is the epidemic prevention equipment. So this one is called uh, electrostatic apparatus. So this functions is to improve our immune system. So as everyone know, right now the COVID-19 spread very fast. So not with a mask or anything like that, we will need to promote our immune system. So this is our mainstream product right now. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Betty. Yeah, I'm sorry. We have a bit of a delay. So I'm, if I accidentally speak over you uh, later as well, I'm sorry. Uh, all right. Thank you. Thank you, Betty. Yeah. So, okay, uh, let's, uh, let's bring on uh, and say hello to our next guest, uh, who is from uh, Goodwill. Um, and that is, there it is. It's Andy. Good morning, Good morning Andy. How are you? Good morning, Tom. Hi. Uh, thank you very much for joining us uh, today. Really appreciate your time. So, um, uh, well, I, I suppose, uh, first of all, we again, we'd like to know, well, the viewers would like to know about uh, so what kind of products you make, and also not just uh, so that you can promote yourself, so that's great. Yeah, sure. But also to get an idea of your point of view when answering, you know, when doing the discussion later on. So please give us a little intro to Goodwill Instrument Company. Hey, uh, everyone, I'm Andy Kong from Goodwill, and Goodwill, uh, was established in 1975 and as a single product power supply manufacturer. After uh, decades of the test measurement experience, we we have uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, focusing on focusing on the education and the industrial. Uh, manufacturing market. Uh, we have established expanding to a uh, comprehension um, electronic test measurement instrument manufacturer with five major uh, product categories oscilloscope, spectrum and liner, uh, single generator, uh, power supply, electronic load, and uh, basic measurement instruments and totally around the 300 product items. All right, thanks very much. Uh, yeah, that sounds like the really, uh, the, the electrical experts, electric, electrical and electronic products, nice. All right, let's bring on then our third uh, final, but by no means least guest, who is a young Chen from uh, Orient Development. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Tom. Hi, thank you for joining us. So um, I hope you're well uh, this morning. 
And could you, yeah, could you tell us a bit about your company, um, its products, and, and well, anything you think is important? <laughs> yes, uh, our company, Orient Development, is, uh, has been a consumer electronic company since about, uh, well, almost 50 years ago, uh, with import from Japan and uh, mainly involved in consumer electronic. And uh, in the last 10 years, we have more involved in the automotive uh, uh, components and uh, especially in the aftermarket infotainment systems. And uh, lately, and uh, we, uh, since Apple has uh, introduced their uh, platform, a CarPlay platform since uh, 2014, we have uh, been focused on the, on the CarPlay and Android Auto market and um, in light of the inflationary economy and also the red hot uh, automotive components uh, market uh, we are experiencing right now uh, we now have the, a very a patented and more the most efficient and easiest and the most price competitive uh, way to upgrade um, current vehicles uh, like uh, used cars and current cars of their infotainment system. That means that for cars that don't have an update infotainment system like CarPlay or Android Auto, uh, we provide a solution that they can uh, instantly and economically upgrade their vehicles. Yeah, fascinating. All right, well, I, uh, I expect you might hear a bit more about that uh, later on, so thank you very much. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get the discussion started then. So, I mean, first off, uh, I think we want some predictions. Uh, so question one then is, uh, and I will just drop that into the chat uh, in case Betty can't hear me very well, uh, which is what will be the hottest selling products for your company later this year and which markets are driving the demand for that? Let's, uh, let's go first to Betty from Aztec, um, if you can hear. <laughs> yes. Mm. Please go ahead. So right now, the hottest product, yeah. So right now, the hottest product we are selling is the, the that's the same mention I just mentioned. It is a electrostatic product, and we selling to the US. And also, we have another. It is a far infrared ice mask. It's a steam ice mask. And all the product we have FDA class two certificate. So our main and product is located in United States. And right now also selling to Japan. Yes. All right, thanks, Betty. So um, the audio was a bit iffy there. So I'll try to sum up if I, if I can there. So yeah, uh, Betty is talking about yeah, a graphite nano steaming eye mask, which is for a treatment of eye area problems, and also the uh, electrostatic uh, device that you may have seen at the top of the stream in the video that promotes the uh, the immune system and improves blood circulation and she also mentions the fda class 2 license which is uh, since these products are sold uh, particularly in the us but also japan so yeah uh, especially well for healthcare products certification is vital we're not that's not one of the things we're really talking about today necessarily but certainly worth bearing in mind um andy how about for you at goodwill what uh, what do you predict are going to be the hot sellers for your company later this year, and where will that be happening? Uh, I think the 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 product will be uh, selling well uh, later this year. I think it's the safety analyzer, and uh, uh, safety analyzer is the high voltage uh, output device used by the almost all the electronic product manufacturer to test their products uh, comply whether whether their products comply with the some safety regulation requirement or not. So uh, I think they will be the best one we will be selling later this year. All right, thanks. And where uh, which uh, which markets in particular Look uh, mostly Europe and the United States. 
Fair enough. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, Young, how about for uh, the automotive? Well, the automotive or other products from well, uh, from you? Actually, we have a continued momentum selling our product to the consumer market. And our portable CarPlay product, since the first generation product, what we call a classic CarPlay portable, the one that you saw on the video mm -hmm. uh, briefly, that product had been sold into the uh, Costco in Taiwan and Shanghai. And now in the process of being uh, introduced to Costco in Japan, and our uh, our uh, ODM customer in in the, in the in the U.S. is in the process of pushing it to uh, Best Buy, and also in Costco in the U.S. So um, uh, we anticipate this year that there's a continuous momentum on that product, and also this year we are introducing a new product. Uh, what we call a CarPlay Pad, which is a, um, actually a different format of a portable CarPlay that will enhance it, the capability by, uh, by allowing to use some um, uh, apps that are previously or currently not accessible with the CarPlay and Android Auto market. Because we do have customers that expressed uh, concern, say they like the CarPlay and Android Auto, but they, they would like to process, uh, they would like to be able to run the, the proprietary apps such mm -hmm. as track, uh, trucking or even entertainment apps that are currently not allowed on the CarPlay platform. And uh, so our new product will enable that. So we do have a series of product, and uh, if it's possible, you know, I can post a, a roadmap, you know, on the uh, for anybody that is interested in to see what the product we will have in this year. Yeah. Okay. I mean, actually, that's a good time for me to mention. If you do want to contact uh, Young about that roadmap or any of our guests, you can uh, look at the links uh, below this video and uh, click those to go directly to their pages on Global Sources dot com and get uh, there's a little message box you can use to email them directly uh so young what are the major international markets uh, for you well you've mentioned uh, in uh, taiwan and the shanghai area for uh, some stockists but do you see other other countries or regions being promising for you uh, around well uh, i okay. think uh, our product is the best receptive in the uh in the us and japan and uh, now it's um, uh, in also we are exploring our European market, mainly in England, you know, and, and Germany. So mm -hmm. we we see that, um, uh, you know, now we're getting more and more uh, responses from the other markets because, you know, they see our product as the best and the most economic way to upgrade their vehicle. So we are even seeing that uh, seeing demands from a uh, market like India and even South America. All right. So, yeah, interesting, promising and relatively undeveloped uh, markets, I guess, for this kind of uh, quite, I mean, I say high end, maybe, uh, you know, like a relatively, relatively high end consumer product. Uh, yeah, well, actually, our, our product, is, our product is the pricing is really not too high end. Yes, that's why I didn't want to say high end. I, uh, I sort of I was making it sound like it's really expensive. Uh, oh so no, I no, take our, it in the spirit of retail, retail price is about three hundred dollars. Oh, yeah, that's actually uh, yeah a, a perfect Christmas gift for someone who owns a car. But you know, yes. All right. So, um, well then, so uh, this uh, leads nicely to the the second question I have there, which is, and uh, let me. Uh, just for technical purposes, let me put this to Betty first again, which is that if a buyer wants to take advantage of these trends, uh, what is your advice? You know, how can you um, get onto a trend, but also stand out from your competition? And that is to Betty, if she can hear me. Maybe she can't. Yeah. No, I think maybe Betty cannot hear me. So uh, let's let's uh, let's throw it right back to Young then, since uh, you were on a bit of a roll. Uh, what do you think about this? So if, um, for example, if someone's getting into the CarPlay uh, pack, I think you said, mm -hmm. how can they, um, or, or or similar products, to be fair, uh, first how of all, they, how can they get in on this but still kind of uh, have an edge? 
Yeah, since we we actually invented the portable CarPlay, we have which we have a patent for it. So the market is well protected, you know. And and our customers, things like just like testing out all the new product that not previously not existed, what they all did is they they used the most and easiest approach is they buy some of our sample product and they just go ahead and put it on channels like Amazon. And as soon as they found out that they can generate about uh, almost two hundred percent of a gross margin, you know, and selling direct to an end user and and make it an instant, you know, profitable and uh, uh, just like you mentioned, a Christmas-like product, you know, and and the next step, what they do is they uh, they'll just uh, approach us for OEM options, you know, and which we, we we are able. Uh, to OEM the product for them in a the very short amount of time, and with a very low MOQ, which is like you know only a thousand piece at a time, they are being we have been able to establish our market, you know overseas, you know uh, uh, in the U.S., Japan, Australia, New Zealand, you know and England. So that's what we have been doing, and um, well, it has its drawback because it's a it's a Creative the new product, so it takes some understanding. Right, you got to educate the the yes, retail that's why, customer right, to persuade that, them. That's why thing, we yeah. we have uh, we have influencers from over you know uh, twenty different influencers from over like ten different countries, you know countries even from Malaysia, Singapore, Japan, you know all the people writing, I, I mean doing review for our product. So they can educate our customer that way, and you, if you go to our website, you can see uh, the video from all the influencers in different languages. That's fa that's fantastic. Yeah. So I in a way, I suppose the tip there is literally have a product that nobody else has. Now, Andy, for for yes. uh, your company, for Goodwill, I guess that might be a little bit different because uh, maybe you can't literally have. Uh, a metering product that's totally different from everyone else's because then it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't work. But uh, sorry, just a moment. I need to fix something on my computer there. Okay. Um, so yeah, what would your advice be, uh, Andy, for someone who's kind of getting into yes. um, your the product category that you cover? How can they how can they be uh, more successful in the market compared to other people with similar products? Yeah. Uh, I think the sorry uh, as a, as our products is a pretty general using in uh, manufacturing, so uh, I think that the 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 buyers should uh, uh, consider the the uh, how much does the cost they buy from the from the other com. Uh, our competitor, yeah. So uh, usually the the they, they does have some uh, well known brand actually like uh, 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 as our company like uh, Keyside or the Kisley like there is a big brand, but uh, I think that our quality uh, will be uh, as good as they are. But maybe we have not as famous as they they are. But I think that we we have uh, tried to uh, reach their level. I think, yeah. And uh, and all our customer can trust that, that our our uh, quality should be the same as the uh, would be as the same as that they are. Yeah. All right. Yeah. No. Uh, great. Uh, great answer. Thank you. So we've got uh, yeah, compete on uniqueness, compete on price, and yeah. thirdly, uh, let's go to Betty. Uh, let's see if there's a third option for uh, uh, for this, Betty. So, uh, what's your advice for uh, buyers uh, on this question? Yeah. Huh? Sorry, you. Is the volume still from crackling? Maybe you can leave the um the comment, and then I can try to answer it. If see everyone, you see, I'll hear my voice. 
Yeah, it is a bit cracker. Yeah. Okay, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I'll just send a quick text message. Yeah. Okay. Very professional. Typing uh, text messages to uh, uh, to each other. So, um, although Betty did mention uh, in a comment here just now um, that for uh, the kind of immune system strengthening um, equipment, uh, such as such as Aztec makes, uh, the argument there really is uh, addressing customer needs. So not so not so much the education as uh, as uh, Young has mentioned, but literally talking about you know there's a there's an epidemic or pandemic still on and uh, underlying the health benefits of uh, the electrostatic product would help there and I think you can take that and broadly apply it across the healthcare electronics product category um, you know basically explain <laughs> explain why it's good for you and the customer hopefully <laughs> hopefully will agree now let's see thirdly let's go two well pitfalls or problems so let's let's uh, maybe go first to andy on this one so andy are yes. there potential dangers uh, that people should watch out for you know if they see a, a product is going to be popular is expected to sell well and so of course they think oh i should get that um but do you do you see any pitfalls and how can people avoid them uh we we see some are the Actually, the, the 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 equipment like us, you you probably very easy to buy from a lot of place uh, online or but somehow the 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 service should be the usually as the problem because uh, uh, but for us we have uh, a lot of the uh, we have seven subsidiary and. Uh, over 80 distributor to serve in the in the world so uh by an equipment like this one because that's manufacturing using all day so maybe the service should be the one they should consider yeah thank you yeah very good it's not not just the physical product is it that's uh, important yeah. uh young for you what do you see as potential problems with uh hopping onto a trend well yeah. i mean uh Portable CarPlay, you know, as we say, that is a, uh, that is some product that we have invented and patented, and uh, uh, of course, just like any hot selling product, they are imitators and they are people who are not afraid that you 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 take legal action against them. It, I mean, there's always copycats, you know, mm -hmm. and so we experience uh, some people that uh, imitated and copy our product even illegally you know, and on the market already. And the pitfall is to avoid those products because, you know, the, the original argument that we have is create a, 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 a automotive replacement of a product. So all the components we use are automotive grade, starting from the screen, CPU, and all the passive active components. And our product can pass environmental testing uh, from negative uh, 20 degrees to up to uh, 80 degrees Celsius. I mean, that's very same product, very same component, very same quality that you will demand out of your, let's say, Toyota or Nissan or Cadillac, you know, but that is not what our imitators do. So they use consumer grade product to make, to imitate our product. And, you know, they may look cheap, but, you know, after you use it for six months or expose it to a sun for three or four months, and the product will fail. So that is the pitfall, I should say, if for, product, for the people who are less informed and they don't know about the quality of being built or to buy a product that is automotive grade. And the key thing that we do and the product that we produce is automotive grade. And that is right, the thing right. that you should avoid. Yeah, exactly. You wouldn't, uh, yeah, you wouldn't go for the the cheaper off-brand uh, car, as you say. So why would well, you do that with the, the thing in it? The well, issue you might is our, rather, yes. The yeah, issue, Tom, is our product is a new brand, so brand mm. may not be the issue, but it's a component that's being used. 
Yeah, for sure. And uh, of course, it might be tempting for a buyer to think, oh, well, these guys will give me basically yes. the same thing and it's cheaper. But in, in the longer term, a customer that, you know, a retail customer that buys your uh, your less good product, they're not going to come back and buy the upgraded version. Well, uh, unfortunately, in the future, a yeah. lot of time people have to learn it in the hard way. I mean, mm. you know, like, first of all, if you, I mean, talking about my wife, they say when she spent $2,000 buying an LV bag and they say, Look at this. He's selling Alibaba for what? Twenty dollars? The same bag? I mean, you can't I mean, say you have no argument for that. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah. Let's let's not get into buying bags. Um, uh, so that's a whole different. That's a whole different comment. Like, we can talk about that afterwards. But so, all right. Let's see. Uh, Betty's uh, typed an answer for us. So while that was going on, just because of the audio problems, let me see if I can do it justice. I hope. So using oh, the electrostatic machine, can't use the, uh, must not use the 3C electronics charging because the electricity. I would need to maintain the electricity all around the body to make the treatment work. Um, so yeah, I, well, actually, I guess this is a little bit similar uh, to uh, Jung's uh, pitfall of, of uh, going for the, the cheaper version. But in this case, it's, uh, you know, it's important to educate your uh, end users about how to use the product correctly, because if they, you know, uh, if they don't know yes. how to use it and then they think it doesn't work, then then that's a, that's a problem, even if it's actually working perfectly. Someone who does it literally doesn't know how to use it uh, will be confused. And especially with uh, quite technical products, like I think all of our guests here uh, make, and so with quite new products, so like especially um, like Aztec produced, that is always going to be a bit of an issue. All right, that is uh, that wraps up question three. I think let's go check the comments. Um, uh, yeah, oh, so we have a hello uh, from Manisha Darianani. I almost missed the eye off the end there. So it's good morning from Hong Kong. So probably just down the road from me. Uh, that's nice to say hello. Yes, uh, Manisha also comments. It's quite hard to hear Betty. I know. I'm sorry about that. We did our best. Uh, we, we had an extra tech rehearsal yesterday. We tried to fix it. We couldn't. We haven't been able to work out why it's only affecting one person. So sorry about that, but hopefully my relayed answers to those questions were helpful as well. Oh, we have a, a last minute uh, question. What is an, oh, uh, I think this one is for Young. What is an automotive grade feature and can an ordinary consumer uh, look for a label or a sticker on a product to check its quality? That is a good question. Uh, Young. Well Actually, uh, our product passed uh, ROSE and FCC, CE, and uh, even for the Japan, we passed the TELEC certification. But unfortunately, those certifications are mainly for safety, you know, and, and specification-wise, just like, you know, when you buy a, a car, I mean, a, no car manufacturer is going to manufacture their car using non-automotive grade components, you know, because a car is, you expect to be able to drive the car for at least 10, 20 years. So the component that is being used, you know, uh, is automotive grade. Just like, I mean, if you ask the military, they have to use the military grade components, which is even higher than automotive grade. And unfortunately, there's no certification yet say that what label or what certification uh, defines automotive gray or mm -hmm. just like FCC or CE, which is consumer oriented certifications, you know? So it's up to the manufacturers to say, because my product will have to last for at least 10 years, or I have to use a 10 year or more lasting component gray. And which is that's what our idea is when we build the the uh, 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 portable product like this. Portable product is more like PND, personal navigational devices. Those products like you see on the market, those uh, portable GPSs, you know, because they have to build it cheap, so they use consumer grade product to build it. So the, as a result, those product probably last you at the most a year or two, you know. And that is not the philosophy when we build our product. So we are the only, uh, should I say, you know, portable or a PND product that use automotive gray, even though we are not in a building automotive market, because we know our brand, just like our company, have to last more than, let's say, 20 years. You know, so that's a distinguished 
feature that our product, and I, I'm happy that you noticed that because that really set us apart from all the PND product. All right, thank you. An impassioned response from uh, from Young there. So uh, thank you for the question, uh, Melanie, as well. Uh, finally, we do have uh, one more uh, hello from. Oh, sorry, I just clicked the wrong thing. Uh, a hello from Brazil, uh, Daniel Souza. Uh, writes, hi from Brazil. Great presentation and advice. Couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, my thanks to Betty Young and Andy uh, for participating today. I really appreciate your time and your expertise and. Um, you know, who else I appreciate? I appreciate you, the viewer. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you'll join us again uh, for future live streams. But uh, until that happy day, thank you for watching and goodbye. Thank you, Tom. Thank, thank you, Tom. Tom. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, audience. Sorry for my audience problem, but thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Bye -bye. <laughs> you need a better.